Um, hi, I'm Emma. I'm one of the in charges with Rice EMS, which means I'm part of the leadership team. Um, I'm also the education lieutenant, and what that means is that I help run the EMT classes that we offer here and that we teach. When we're on duty, honestly, there's certain things that we have to do every single shift, and then what ends up happening is hugely variable. So every single shift, um, we have a responsibility to like check all of our equipment, make sure everything is there, fix anything that's going wrong. Typically you can go about your day as usual if you have class um, or if you have plans with friends, um, but you're always on call so honestly the days just kind of depend. Um, you could get absolutely no calls, it could be like a normal day at school, or you could be running to calls back and forth all day. Okay, so we um. just got paged and we're heading to the call. Yep, all four of us on route. Okay. Most of our members right now are duty crew. So they volunteer and take two shifts per month, um, two 12-hour shifts. Um, and then duty crew often get involved on top of that. They'll work special events like um, basketball parties, that sort of thing, um, or they'll help with training. But the very basic is two 12-hour shifts. OK, so this is where we keep all of our equipment. Uh, this is our primary bag. It contains most of the equipment that we use for every single call. Um, so it usually goes up here. And then we have gloves um, that we use for every single call, of course, so the quick access, um, wipes for cleaning everything between patients, and then this is the cardiac monitor. Um, so this is how we get like general vital signs and we can do like heart monitoring on our patients. Um, these are, this is definitely the area that we use the most. Uh, down here we have an oxygen bag, so this has everything that people need if they're in like a respiratory emergency or something like that from like oxygen to like if we needed to put in um, an airway, it's all in here. Um, and then we also have a suction, which is similarly used for lots of respiratory emergencies. Um, those are the main equipment that we use for most calls. Honestly, I took the class here because a friend of mine was doing it. I had no idea. I was like, hey, that sounds kind of fun. I kind of just took it on a whim and found out that I really, um, I just loved it, honestly. Um, yeah, I think EMS aligned with a lot of things that I enjoy and was looking for. So since we provide like 24-7 um, service, then people have to be on shift overnight. And for the people who live off campus, we have two rooms on campus where they can stay overnight. So we have one at Duncan and one at Sid. They're like private rooms um, that you stay just for your shift so that you can hopefully sleep while you're on shift. I'm gonna be helping out with the party tonight. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not actually on it, but I'll probably go um, help them get ready because they have to like move a lot of stuff and then hang out around that area because honestly, we tend to help each other out. So everybody will be doing like their bag checks, uh, making sure all their equipment is good. And they will also be like meeting together to make sure that they know what the plan is for the party. So tonight we're gonna be on duty at the Hands in Public. Um, we're going to be headed around. We have all of our gear here, all of our other providers are on the way. Um, whenever we have Publix or any sort of event like that, we have units that are specially stationed there. So Emma here is on covering the entire campus, and then like me and Nafisa and then all of the other teams, um, we're going to be covering just hands in and the public itself. We will arrive usually like half an hour before, um, make sure all our equipment is good, make sure everybody knows who they're working with. And, where they need to be, um, and yeah, they go out from there, and then usually they'll have a specific REMS area um, at the parties, and um, we'll either wait there, um, sometimes we'll have people walk up to us, sometimes uh, RUPD will call us out um, when they have a patient, um, but yeah, it really depends a lot on the parties, sometimes it's not that bad, and sometimes um, we have a constant flow. It can be a little tiring sometimes, um, but I mean, we all love what we do. 